break. So it's 8.21 right now and I'm on break. I'm just having my coffee for breakfast. So when I'm working, I drink coffee like twice a day. One when I get to work and the second cup of coffee is when I go on break. But today has been good so far. Hopefully all day it's gonna be good. It's Wednesday today and I'm getting off at 5. Open today so I, I was here at 4.30. So yeah! Can't wait for next week you guys. I'm going on vacation. Girl is turning 30. Oh my god! I believe I'm turning 30 though! So this is what we have to wear inside the treatment area. This is our face shield. We have a mask on and we have our gown. Um, this is actually a different type of gown, but um, on our free time or, or downtime, we do our, like I said on my first video, we have um, different assignments. Today I'm doing dialyzer. I'm just putting it in the drawers. And yeah, they've kind of rotate us every single day, um, different types of assignments or whatever you want to do. You can just put your name, but normally we just do different stuff every day. So now I'm trying to get ready for the second shift. I'm trying to look for all my patients flow sheet. So now I'm in the storage room and I'm just putting all the supplies that we need in the cart and this is what we have on the floor for everybody to use i'm filming the second part with a co-worker of mine that is a really really good friend of mine thinking of bringing him to this restaurant in town so we'll see i'm not sure if he tried filipino food yet because there's only one in this town which is crazy we work together so we can kind of like tell you guys more about it since i can't really film a lot inside of the clinic because you know hipaa i can film myself i can film whoever wants to be in the video like my co-workers except the patients that's all i wish i can show you guys more but i really can't film a lot inside but yeah i'm trying to show you guys as much as i can i know this is very interesting for other people because um, they have no idea what dialysis is. I guess I can call this PCT vlogs because it's a PCT vlog so I guess that's what I'm gonna call this one PCT vlogs so watch out for more videos! So I'm outside the restaurant right now and I'm just waiting for Spencer to come. I'm so excited because I can't wait for him to try our food but I'm pretty sure that he's gonna like it because he's not very picky with food. Like really, really excited for this because I'm so hungry. Oh, Black King. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, he's here Hi. now. I'm so excited, hold on. Oh my god! Something. Blue is stuff on the menu, like, I'm so hungry right now. Like, By the way, this is like the only Filipino restaurant yeah. in town. It's like weird because I pass by it all the time, but because I call it the real so Real hot. setup, setup. Setup. Which means mm -hmm. real delicious. <laughs> See, I would know that, so I didn't, I thought this yeah. was a bookstore. Rice Those is you, everything. Like, yo, One what? thing, I'm sure you're aware. Mm -hmm. Our culture is kind of like, you know, everything has to have rice. Hi, salamat po. Yeah. Salamat po. 
I think that that's one of the things that like Filipino country, uh, like um, Asian countries, have in common with like my ancestry because um, Dominican, Dominican, Italian. So you're Dominican. Yeah, we wrestle too. Dominican like, and um, Italian and also black. Oh. Um, yeah, from from Louisiana, we have everything nice. rice, too. rice and beans. So. Oh, it's gonna be so much stuff. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. It's mostly rice and like meat and vegetables. Um, I grew up eating meat and rice, so when I tried to be vegan at one point in my life, like, oh my god, like, can I do this or what? I don't know. But I was a vegetarian for like eight months. Eight months? Yeah. But you noticed the difference, right? Yeah. Oh, so. so you guys, we have everything on the table. So we have lechon kawaii, which is like crispy fried pork belly, lumpiat, which is like our egg roll, you know, mm -hmm. like our egg roll. And then that's pancit, and then this is like sisig. Sisig. That was hard. This is really, really good. Oh my god. <laughs> that's a dessert. We have to order that. <laughs> so by the way, we eat with spoon and fork. We don't know what knife is. <laughs> Let's dive in. Yep. Do you feel overwhelmed or what? I do. Like, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like gonna eat everything. Yes. Oh. So there's a lot of people that like that video, you guys. I was so surprised and actually happy that it actually went well. But a lot of people had been requesting to make a part two of it or make more videos of it. So this is what we're doing and we're gonna just talk about everything that, that you guys wanted to ask and wanted to know um, about work and stuff. Yeah, okay, so, so like the method that I'm going with right now is that I'm like separating my rice <laughs> into different things so that I can taste just the pureness of right. each thing. Okay, I'm gonna lumpia, you guys. Lumpia is like the best, oh, that's great. What that's is great. what is the sauce? So it's like a sweet and sour. Okay. That's great, yeah. Mm. Mm. It is really similar to an egg roll. Mm -hmm. It is. It's like thinner and mm -hmm. like a, maybe a little more crispy, but it's really so similar. So you can like put um, just vegetables if you're vegetarian or mm -hmm. vegan, just vegetables. But the vegan. pork is like seasoned really Hell good. yeah, or ground beef or whatever. But that's our egg roll. Mm. This is like my favorite sauce ever. This is so hot, which is vinegar. And it has like some some garlic and stuff there and it's the bomb. We also have like different types of sauces. Like I'm a sauce girl, like mm. I swear. I just like sauce in every... This is like like really meaty bacon. It's like instead of bacon being like cut down, like cutting Thicker. cut down like really thin, it's like made of chunks. So it's pork belly. Every time I come here, I always have to get that. Yeah, it's kind of like where, where where I'm from. We have something called cracklings. Like cracklings are just yeah, chicharrones. Yeah, 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 chicharrones. How long have you been working for dialysis? I've been doing dialysis for five years now. Five, five years. Yeah, I made too. five years. I have been working also for five years. I started. September, like this month, September 2015, um, I started in Miami. What I like about dialysis, once you have experience and you, you and you work in dialysis, you can work anywhere. Anywhere. Literally, the like, job is so similar everywhere you go. Yes. Like the machines might be a little different. Yeah. And the lines, but the basic premise of dialysis is the same is... thing. Once you know dialysis, you pretty much have a job anywhere. Like you can move anywhere. You can try. I just wanna see bite. Oh my god, I'm just so messy. Oh my god. It's like bacon bits. <laughs> like cooked bacon. I told bits. you so much meat. <laughs> this is really good. Pan I do like that. Mm -hmm. That's the way it is. So a lot of people have been leaving a comment on the first video. If you guys haven't seen it, I'm gonna link the video in the description. One of the questions are how much do you guys make doing this? Not enough. What? <laughs> it really depends which state you live in, what city you live in. And also in. places with competition. You have exactly. to take that into consideration. Exactly. We, we don't really have any competition here. Where we live, it's like a, li a little bit lower cost of living. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you agree with that or no? 
it's getting, it's getting higher. It's, it's getting, getting higher, higher, but I think yeah. the reason that it's it's always been sort of high is because we live in a college town. We have three major colleges here, and so a lot of people who live here go to school and they're getting tuition money and stuff like that, mm -hmm. where they're having their parents kind of support them. So rent and like you know cost of living kind of stuff is kind of like high for the rest of us that are here, and then the, the rest of us that are here are either wealthy like old money or pretty new money um, or poor <laughs> like everybody starts from the bottom some other dialysis companies they start higher higher mm -hmm. than the other companies because they don't take people with no experience so of course mm -hmm. they're gonna start higher than than a company that trains that has no experience that's true so like if you work per se in california or like Portland, Oregon, or you know, the states that have like really high cost of living, then of course, you know, it's going to be higher as well. But it really depends. <laughs> Some companies, they start really low, but that's because they, you don't have any experience. So yeah. And, and they're, they're basically training you to learn how to do it. And they pay for it also. So. Yeah. Other um, jobs that, you know, in the mall and stuff, like they get paid more than us. Like, yeah. My brother works for, or at one point worked for Costco, and he made like fourteen dollars an hour starting. Wow! To the like, I think I started at like eleven something. Yeah, I started at like eleven mm -hmm. something, and now I'm making closer to like thirteen. But like, I still haven't even crossed the like fourteen threshold. It really depends. Like, that's all I can say. It really depends. Yeah, like on where where you are, what you need, what your personal needs are, and where you're starting from. So basically, you, you work three days a week. Not everybody just works three days a week, but basically either you're on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, mm -hmm. and that's 40 hours. It's usually like 36, yeah. um, but it can definitely be like 40 to 42 hours. But if you want to make overtime, of course, that's up to you, literally. But if you just want 40 hours, that's all good as well. Like, yeah, at our clinic, Kay works. You work Monday, Wednesday, I work Friday. Monday, Wednesday, she works Friday, like the days. longest shifts I've ever heard of. <laughs> I mean, I, I've worked those shifts yeah. also before, yeah. but like I just I wouldn't do that to myself yes. now because I work multiple yeah. days. Yes, that's so, okay. Yeah. But, me having to work just three days is yeah. i can work as long as i can because i don't have to work the next day so yeah so yeah. you just get to rest and take care of things yes. but for me um i don't have kids i'm not married you know like i'm just chilling mostly i work sometimes four or five days a week sometimes six really just kind of depends on when they put me on the schedule mm -hmm. so so i have a question here it says yeah. hello i've been a dialysis tech for eight months now or for sickness and planning to take my CCHT soon. Do you have any advice or study help? Please. Thank you. I love these videos. Hi, salamat po. Oh my god, I forgot we have that. <laughs> this stuff, you guys. Adobo. This is um, kind of like our national dish. Yeah, it's a national dish. Like, I, like I don't even think I knew that national no. dishes were like a thing. American so, national dish. For example, like somebody's like, oh, you're Filipino? Oh, I love adobo. That's what, you know, they, they say right away. Like, uh, I feel like, like America's would be like pizza <laughs> or chicken. Or, or wings or yeah, or wings. wings. Hey, it's Yama Dukes. I would say the thing that you need to understand, you were working for Fresenius. I work for um, not Fresenius. <laughs> Yeah, I work for not for cities, so I'm not 100% sure if their test would be the same. I remember not knowing a whole lot about the water room, the very base things, but mostly because the way they train us in the facility, we we tend to do a lot more floor work first, like a lot more hands-on with patients. Like they want to know that you know how to turn your pod, they want to know that you know how to do those things that you know, basically gets you off of the learning curve and into like real action. And then the people that have been there for a lot longer tend to do the water room stuff. And you don't really, I, I didn't get introduced to the water room stuff on my own until I was maybe like, like a year, a year old or something, a, right? Yeah, a year. Same, yeah. Because that first year was really just me getting my groove of turning the pod, sticking, That's getting the most a feel and accesses, thing. Yeah. and making sure I knew how to troubleshoot the machine. Unfortunately though, 
that's not the stuff that was on the test. <laughs> <laughs> it's more of like water stuff. Yeah, it's, oh. it's going to be a lot of water stuff. So if you have not taken the time to focus on your water room stuff, just basically making sure that you keep uh, the order of it in, in mind or kind of like the cause and effect for each thing, right? So if you have your eight layer tank or something like that, you kind of just want to like, if you're going to frame it around something that you know, you know the eight layer tank, and that means that what you need to do is focus on the eight layer tank and think of what comes before it and what comes after it. And then work on each thing, what goes, you know, and just kind of understand the rhyme or reason for why each thing has to happen. Kind of getting like really familiar with, um, like when you hear words like centrifuge, okay, you have to break it down. Like, you know what I'm saying? You have to break it down so that you understand what it means. And don't be afraid to ask your biotechs um, and other people what it is. Like, I know it may seem like you're annoying because a lot of people are like moving. A lot of people are moving and stuff like that. But you're going to be a valuable teammate to them if you ask them the question. So just make sure, you know, don't let the pride or the shyness get in the way. Ask questions. It's so important. Yeah, that's so good. So good. good. No, we have to eat it with rice. Bitch. That's, that's bitch. That's fire. a double. This no, you need the sauce. Like, oh, you do? Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're pouring on this one. A double is the shit. Fire. <laughs> I'm so glad you're right. It like it's melted so in my mouth. Like I, I had to like remember that this was me. Yeah. Like, just like wait. <laughs> You have until 18 months. Until, you yeah. can do it at any point within the 18 months. Yeah. It would be smarter to catch it before your that month. Oh my god, um, I did it so yeah, yeah, like I did it so almost close to that. <laughs> and they will tell you, do not return to work until you have that test done. Yes. Like, it, it's oh like, my god. and they will hold on to you for like two weeks. So make sure. Yes. You get the test done. <laughs> don't but wait till the last minute. Don't like wait me. till the last minute. Oh but my you god. have. 18 like an 18 month period yeah. from your higher date so that includes i don't really know how long for sinise does training ours is three months or it's three months but we usually months. give them like five before they are like on their own in the middle of that time period that getting hired and finishing those three months three to five months that you are training still count towards those 18 months so it is literally 18 months from your start date do not forget it so i'm um, sebastian gomez hello there new subscriber thank you guys so much for subscribing if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this please give me a thumbs up so i know if you like like these types of videos so i can make more of it um he said keep showing us more of your journey through this whole pandemic covid 19 situation as a technician well, um, I try to show you guys as much as I can in the facility because as much as I can, I really can't do a lot more videos in there because, you know, of course, HIPAA. Yeah, and, patient you know, privacy. Yes, patient privacy. So, I mean, I can show my coworkers, my, you know, my... I mean, we can, I can give, like, definitely some examples of how things have changed. Like, yes, yeah, yeah. I don't want to get in say, trouble, you guys, so yeah. I don't want to, you know, film in there. So I can film myself doing some stuff, but... It definitely is hard for us because of the fact that a lot of our patients are so afraid to tell us things and we have to go based on their words. So we ask them in the mornings, you know, um, have you been around anyone that you believe to have COVID or anybody that was showing symptoms of COVID? Have you yourself been showing symptoms of COVID? And a lot of our patients, because of that fear of not knowing what's going to happen to them, they lie and, yeah. or they don't remember the whole truth or all the information so we end up you know having them and not really knowing what to do with them and then later on finding out that their their son or their daughter or their husband had COVID and got tested and was positive and then we have like a long process where we have to do the tracing of you know who they sat yes. by and all this different stuff so it's it's been really hard it's, it's really difficult for us to see that their fear but then also understanding that we ourselves need to protect ourselves because exactly. we just don't know for example like you've been around people that got tested even just got tested that means they can't get in the clinic or they can't get dialyzed like right away um, we have a specific facility that they go to if they yeah, are that we service covid uh yes. either positive or potentially positive patients and we even separate the potentially positive from the positive it's so sad nowadays but I mean, we just, we can only hope for the best. And 
Wear your masks. Okay, wash your hands. Sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. So, yes. Wash your hands. Oh my god, so. We cannot stress that enough. My freaking hands are so dry and cracked already from Yo, washing. <laughs> oh my god. That's another thing. But when you work in dialysis, like, you become the ashiest person in the world. Like, our hands are terrible, man. Like, like literally, we wash our hands so much that it's. They start to like crack it, and yeah. get like really dry and then bleed. Like the little Seriously. ridges in your skin will like oh start God. to and it's it's almost like little paper cuts. Paper oh it's worse than a paper yeah. cut. It's really bad. And then you have to go and then you have to sanitize your hands in between <laughs> certain steps. So it burns. So it burns. Like, you, there's no escaping it. And like literally like I'm so used to it, I don't even realize that it happens anymore really. But like I'm thinking back on it now and I'm like, dang, yeah, like my hands are really cracked right so dry. <laughs> Sud Q asks, do you plan on becoming a nurse? The thing about working in a dialysis company, or I think this is in every dialysis company, you can work your way up, which mm -hmm. is so amazing because, you know, they will pay for your tuition reimbursement. Mm -hmm. They will support you throughout your journey of becoming a nurse. So it's a good thing that they will pay for your school. You just have to like stick with them. <laughs> I yeah. think you have to you stick have to, with them. I think like after you graduate, you do two years two to years, like basically yeah. Yeah. like show your appreciation or something like that. They pay for your schooling. So it's really not bad because two years goes by like yeah, nothing. really like, fast. Yeah. I can't even believe I've been working here for five years. Now I'm like five and a half years. Like literally six years is coming up. Like. You never know. So, also, we have like the, the luxury of like having incredible teammates, man. Like our, our teammates are so cool. We have literally like the young, fun staff. Oh my god! Seriously. We go out together. Um, but we. It know. becomes like they become like family. Like family. You guys like it really feels like brothers and sisters. Because we spend twelve hours yeah. exactly. together and so, we depend on three, each other. Three, four, five times a week. Sometimes yeah. six. Yeah. If you work six days, you and know. And we like, like depend on each other to just get things done. So like, and then also because like we're not with our families a lot. Like when we have like emotional things happen, like you're just at work. So are you gonna be emotional at work by yourself, yes. or are you gonna depend on the people around so you? So it like, becomes like a family for real. Sometimes you're sinking, and then I'll be there for you like mm -hmm. we just help each other you Yo, know she's there for everybody <laughs> uh, she like runs around the clinic y'all like she like looks and, like oh, do you need that done and like she's like doing it before you can even like say like no i no, got it i just, I just want to have everybody's day to be easier yeah. you know like to be smoothly it doesn't yeah. make sense for you to let one person struggle and one other person not barely working like because there are days yeah. where sometimes two out of the four of your patients don't show up so you have like a really easy pod like yeah. but you see someone else and they're struggling like okay well i have, I have time on my hands like i can literally yeah. go over there and assist why because i've been in that pod i know how hard exactly. that pod is we have um the bio guy that works with us he has an office in the back of our clinic and he's not always there so i call his um his office the prayer closet and i go in there and i like <laughs> You need this check, <laughs> bro. You need this check. You cannot but, go to prison. But you guys, we love our jobs. I love my I job. love my I job. love it. Every day like, is like a reality TV show. Yeah, it feels good to give life to people, and we're taking care of them really good. Yeah. We are. We have the best clinic in yes. the region. Oh my goodness. We like have the <laughs> best boss. We do. We have the Girl. best Oh my god. Boss. I love my boss. I love her so much. She, like, She's hover. so cool. She's yeah. so cool. She doesn't hover over us and stuff like that. She really lets us run the clinic because yeah. we're very capable of it. So yeah, now that we have finished answering questions, I'm gonna like really eat, like eat, eat. I'm gonna stop playing with y'all. <laughs> we're both wearing black. So funny. We're both Virgos, so oh my it's god, true. we're both Virgos. We're we're Virgo both season. Very pretty. Huh? So we're both very pretty. <laughs> this is Mary, you guys. Are you almost leaving? Or yeah, what? I'm fixing to head out. It's like, right now it's like 6.41. I've oh been here God. since 5 a.m. Yeah, we same. We work very hard. <laughs> <laughs> but um, this is Danielle, Hi. you guys. Uh, she's also a PCT. When, when was the last time you took the T- I don't know if you guys can hear us through this mask, but... Um, I'm um, just, we're just hot. I took yeah. my test like probably a year ago. And it was not hard. If you just study your, what is it? Like what book is CCHT? that? CCHT. Yeah. Like if your place gives you like the CCHT book, 
And I think there was a study guide. Yeah, but here's the coolest thing about this place is that it gives you 18 months to prepare. Yeah. yeah. You have a lot. You don't time. have to have a certificate to start working at our clinic. But, okay. I think for me, it was experience that helped me get through it. Like, yes. If you just really learn. But it's and also take about like water stuff. I remember when I took the test. Yeah. It was like a lot of water stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but when I took the for test. me, I just got like maybe five or like probably like six max. So I would get someone to walk you through your water room and just give you the overview because it wasn't like. And don't hard expect to know it all yeah. yes. the first time. It, you you can't. We're not. still learning yeah. every day. We're still learning. And I've been lot. here for almost three years. Three and years. And the so. field of dialysis is constantly changing. It's changing every single time. Because when I first started here, we had something called reuse, where we used reuse dialyzers for our patients, and the patients had the option of having the same dialyzer assigned to them. Now that is no longer being used at all. We use. I remember that. I remember yeah, you remember that? <laughs> I hated it. There are so many steps. We okay. also have a lot of fun here. Hey, <laughs> hey, you guys. Yeah, I'm the administrative she assistant. so good. Been here 10 years. 10 years? 10 years. Five Ten. years. Who Five. hired you, Mary? <laughs> Your mommy did. Oh, my God. Are you her serious? Mo her mom hired me. But This is what's happening currently. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> we believe in fun at our clinic. Hi, Destiny. And this is the noise that we listen to for 12 hours a day. Beep, beep, beep. We hear it in our sleep sometimes. Oh, I hear it in the shower. Uh, she's one of our nurses over here. Miss Puff. Yeah. Hi. You're no PN, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah she's one she's of no our PN. Nursing. One of our nurses. What do you What do you think of working in Dallas? Do you guys want me to show you the water room? <laughs> oh. I've shown them. I've, I've been video? an FPN for six years. I came straight out of school. Um, when I first started here, it was kind of, you know, it's a lot to take in, it, you know, because it's, it's new. Oh my God. Yeah. It's so a lot. <laughs> when you first start here and you have no experience. Yeah, it's a lot. It's literally like, whoa. Yeah, like a whole whoa. other world. Yeah, like, whoa. <laughs> you know, about six months to a year, I finally got the hang of it. But here I am six years later, I'm still here, you know, yeah. still learning, still, you know. And I'm going back I, to school. Yes. To become an RN. Yeah, that's, that's, the that's the way to go. Keep going. And keep going. Yeah. Anna is a nurse our, practitioner like one of our nurses. They're both nurses. Do you like dialysis? Do you, How do I like dialysis? You, you, um, I've been here way too long. I was working here in 2011. Here, what do you What do you think is like the like the hard part like of working in dialysis? Like the I hardest part? I have the answer. Like what do you oh, what, what do you, coronavirus? <laughs> <laughs> what do you, what do you, I'm doing my answer like I said. Like for me. Like I said, the hardest thing about setting up those lines, bro. <laughs> but once you get it down, no, you got it. Yeah, once you get it. For me, yeah, but once you get it. The hardest thing is not the work. It's not you know, you know all that. My thing is getting attached. Yeah. Yes. Oh my That's god. Yeah. You're not gonna get attached in like yeah. any other specialty. I feel These like. people are like your family. Like, These people yeah. are like family. You see you them see more them every, than you see day. your own damn family. Like yeah. I see these yeah. people more than I see my immediate, yeah. like exactly. my mom and dad. Yeah. Like the hospital where it's different people every day. True. Yeah. True. It's the same, same people, people every single day. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And it's just or repetitive. Tuesday, Everything is. I mean, dialysis can be hard Maybe. sometimes, but yeah, it's very know, repetitive. Yeah, it's very repetitive. Yeah. And for those people that wants yeah. to, um, I gotta go past men. Yeah. Yeah, that's but, the hardest thing for me. Everything else, it comes with time and practice, but yeah. that is like practice the hardest is thing everything. For me. You can't learn this by watching the video. You gotta no. Be in here. No. No. Hands so. on. My dream is to, you know, I've always had a dream. I love kids, so my dream job is to work in the NICU or in the oh nursery. Oh my God, I love so, it too. Yes. Oh. I'm here, um, you yeah. know, for a long, I've been, like I said, almost six years, so I'm here for a little while longer, but the, that's where I ultimately want to be is with the babies. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe. <laughs> Turn your post notifications on so you don't miss any of our videos. <laughs> You're in school right now, huh? What I like about our job Ooh, also yeah. is it can accommodate you when so, you go to well, school. Okay, yeah, but I feel like it's not. I don't know if it would be for every clinic. I think it's just our clinic. Yeah. I mean, they like would pay. They yeah, pay yeah, for yeah. school. I just don't know if every clinic would accommodate you. Yeah. Like like, like hours. Exactly. Like like five o'clock or six o'clock at right. night. Yeah. I know. Like, because our clinic we're the has only one that does like yeah, shift. we're the only clinic that has a night shift. So I go to school from eight to four every day, and then I come here at five. And so if I was anywhere else, yeah, there's no coming in at five. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think Vicinius has 
a night shift or they're trying they? to make a night shift. I think they're trying to. Put it up. sucks. Should if we make you... a thumbnail? Oh my god. Oh, we're doing like a thumbnail. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, I can't get this right. I'm having Good night. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay, you guys, that is it for this video. I'm just gonna take it off since I'm the only one here. I'm just gonna put it back when I go to the floor again. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please don't forget to like this video if you thought this was interesting. And let me know if I should do more. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!